Our, our next uh, presenter is, uh, is Dan Shannon from uh, Salute My Job. And uh, the, the, the lovely thing here is uh, this organization puts ex-service men and women into industry, into jobs. So make the transition uh, that we've seen here. So uh, can we have a very warm welcome for Dan, who's uh, going to be talking about filling the skills gap using uh, services personnel. Thank you. Thanks everyone, good afternoon. As Tim said, my name is Dan Shannon uh, and I'm Head of Business Development at Salute, Salute My Job. And also, as he says, I'm here to talk about how we can help you fill the skills gap with ex-military talent. Uh, just a, as a bit of background, we were set up in 2014 by Andrew Jackson. Andrew Jackson is a, an ex-brigadier who completed a full military career. And it was at the latter stages of this career that he realized that more could and should be being done to support service men and women in their transition into a more meaningful civilian career. He also realized that companies could really benefit from tapping into this talent pool, a talent pool that is often hard to reach, uh, which is why our mission, oh, sorry, uh, which is why our mission is to better connect these individuals with uh, supportive employers um, and a wider range of job opportunities. Uh, just a little bit about myself. I also served in the army for six years. I would normally go into a little bit of detail about this, but I'm not going to embarrass myself after following Colin. <laughs> um, following the army, I, I fell into a, a career in recruitment, as most people do, as I was really lucky to have a really strong support network of family and friends uh, that could help me with my career change and offer advice and point me in the right direction. And as Colin alluded to, this is not always the case for every service leaver, especially those that join, join at a really young age and have maybe never filled out a form, let alone uh, completed a CV. Um, which is why after four years at a tech recruitment agency and a small stint in an internal role in a, a software company, uh, when Andrew approached me about the role with SMJ and he talked to me about the mission, it really resonated with not only my experience as a service leaver, but uh, those of my teammates around me who were maybe a little bit less fortunate when, when leaving. Um, in terms of the, the skills gap, the skills gap is being felt by every single company across every sector in the UK right now. So if your particular business is feeling it, you're, you're definitely not alone. And this is not always due to just technical skills, um, with one in five companies saying that applicants lack soft skills, such as strong communication, leadership or, or management skills. These soft skills and many others are traits that every service man and woman um, acquires through military training and then it enhances throughout their career, no matter how long they serve. This skills gap creates a number of problems for your business, including uh, lower productivity, increased performance issues, which both uh, decrease profits and increase um, the lack of competitive competitiveness. We believe that you can beat this skills gap uh, and therefore outpace your competition uh, if you have an effective way of hiring ex-military talent. There are a number of other benefits to hiring ex-military uh, into your workforce, and this includes a stronger mental resilience, again, that has already been touched on, uh, a stronger work ethic, being highly driven, and service men and women are naturally competitive due to the nature of training and the careers. They're always pitted against each other through courses um, or deployments or exercises. So this drives them to be successful in everything that they do. And most importantly, in my opinion, it increases retention rates uh, and loyalty. Uh, Deloitte conducted a, uh, a research program and they found that 76% of companies that have an effective military hiring program uh, had lower rates of absence and 40% of them said that veterans stay for longer. Uh, and in a tough hiring market, obviously retention is, is key. Um, in terms of how we, could, we can help you do this, outside of just conventional search from maybe a normal recruitment agency, we have a number of different services and offerings that will help your uh, organization plan and implement an armed forces program, build pipelines of talent, and showcase your organization as forces friendly, whilst promoting the brand through our various uh, platforms and channels so that we can get the message out there to this large and often disparate community. And just on the community itself, this is made up of one million working age veterans. 
and on average 20,000 uh, people leave the services every single year. Uh, Salute My Job itself is the only platform that enables your organisation to share the opportunities across the full breadth of this community. And alongside, again, just promotion uh, of, of your particular live roles, we also have an online directory of forces-friendly employers, uh, which uh, enables you to promote your brand, your product or your services, showcase the work that you're doing uh, in support of the armed forces community, and we can help you to provide sponsored content through one of our specialist content writers. Uh, this is typically in the shape of case studies or employee spotlight programs, where we would uh, put out con content there to the, the uh, wider business community about uh, a veteran maybe that you've hired in the past and the successful journey that you've had through your business. Combining all of these elements will definitely drive more applications to your live roles. Most importantly, um, we feel that building a, a pipeline of talent as opposed to maybe a more reactive recruitment strategy is key to bridging the skills gap. So as part of our partnership, we would implement a career pathway program, uh, an example of which is, is obviously on the screen, um, where we would take responsibility for the attraction uh, of relevant candidates, candidates from the armed forces community and cross-qualify them where needed uh, through our partnerships with IBM and Microsoft, uh, through which they would get a, a formal accreditation. Uh, not every candidate would need this uh, cross-qualification, but we have it in place for those that do. During the Pathway Programme, your organisation uh, can engage with the candidates directly, whether that be through webinars or workshops, and then following the, the, the Qualify stage, uh, you would have access to a qualified pool that is active and engaged with your brand, who are either ready to complete a short work placement if they need a little bit more industry experience, or more often than not, they're ready for a full-time employment. This particular pathway is just a blueprint. What we have found is that this is very easily replicated to any of your live roles or particular specialisms, whether that be technical or non-technical positions. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate that was short, but thank you very much for your time today. Um, if you've got questions now, I'm happy to take them. If not, uh, I'm around all day, so I can maybe talk to you about how we could tailor it specifically to yourself. Thank you again. presentation um, will be up on the website from probably tomorrow if we get our act together um, so all the contact details will be there as well also um, Dan's colleague will be um, will be touching base with us again and giving us some more information on how we can engage with uh, salute my role so um, uh, salute my job sorry